Ah, yes. Okay. Now, the show didn't run that long, except it's run now for 50 years. Just never gone away. Never gone away. Never, never gone, gone away. Never. All right, Thankfully. Don, Don is with us. Don Wells, it's been just over 50 years since she first appeared on Gilligan's Island. Oh. Soon after that, young men all over the country <laughs> began asking each other, Ginger or Mary Ann? And I'm still alive. Gilligan, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I was here when he put them on the bunk. And he said they were for me. Mm-hmm. Don't be so surprised. After all, you're a girl and he's... Well, whatever he is, he's kind of cute. <laughs> Hi, girls. Just want to see if you got the flowers, Mary Ann. Bye. I told you. Why didn't you say something to him? Oh, I didn't know what to say. Oh, so sweet. I don't know what to say. So sweet. And You're still so cute. Oh, my God, I'm still here. That's the best part. <laughs> 50 years, is that what you said? I was I, two when we started you know, this thing. I yeah. understand that. Uh, when Lisa Bloom was here, she said, she asked me, Mary Ann or Ginger, and I said, Mary Ann, because not only is she cute and adorable, but afterwards, she makes pancakes for That's us. That's right. What, She's right. a good cook. What more can you ask for <laughs> out of exactly all of Exactly right. <laughs> well, how are you? I'm just fabulous. I know you get this question all the time. Uh, this little series that Shorewood Schwartz put together, uh, went on the air. It was a cute series. Got a lot of criticism when it went on the air I'll for say. being innocuous and silly and uh -huh. all of that. And it had a nice run. But then the afterlife of the show created the legends and the myths. So generation after generation yes. was watching the show and, on and TV. And that didn't happen right away, or did it? Yeah, I mean, they went into little... reruns. And Sherwood said to us, we'll never have any reruns. It won't work. Well, it's, we've never been off the air since 1964. Wow. 50 years and 30 languages. I can't go anywhere. Beijing, Marianne, Marianne. <gasps> because there's no telling you. There's no cars that say it's a 56 Chevy. Mm -hmm. No political issues. It's kind of something to think about. It's the seven people getting along. We're trying to do that in continents yeah. right now. So when you auditioned for Marianne, so you had you had done the Miss America pageant, so you had success there. Yeah, you were Miss you were Nevada. Were yeah, I know, but big deal. Yes, no, but I want to bring it up. It's you okay. know, that yeah. kind of started everything, and then you had a no, couple it really other didn't, because I was pre-med. I just did that for a scholarship for college, having no idea. And after the first week or two, I never mentioned that I was in the Miss America pageant when I came to Los Angeles to audition, because there's so many beautiful people that come just because they're pretty uh -huh. and they think they can get in the movies. And I was theater trained, so I was very serious. So you you were dedicated to that. You knew yeah. that's what you Withdraw wanted. Withdraw that question. Oh. Well, it's part I'm of sorry. your story. It Why is. did you even ask me? It's that? part of your book. I mean, I'm it's sorry. part of who you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't like the pageant thing? Just oh, I do. Don't, yeah, I don't, do. don't forget that, that Marianne's feisty. Yeah, you know, she's, she's a little feisty. feistier than you think you. She's not oh. as sweet as you think. Uh, Thank you. So the, 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 series, uh, the series goes on. Uh, um, you know, and, uh, people study it now like it's an anthropological thing. <laughs> There was a pilot that changed when the series went on. Was you, were you in the initial pilot? No, no. What? Everything was replaced except the Howells and Gilligan and the Skipper. Every, there were three school teachers, and CBS wanted something more interesting, so huh. they rewrote a movie star, a farm girl, and a professor. So, so it, when it, you auditioned, there were hundreds of girls. Yes. Hundreds, including Raquel Welch. They keep telling right. me that, but I auditioned for about a week at CBS TV City with different people, and they say she came in. She didn't audition with me, of course, yeah. because she wouldn't. She'd be a better ginger than a Marianne anyway. Probably. Oh, oh she yes. was so. Be the essence of ginger. And still is right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so sexy and beautiful. So it's a sad question. How many of you are left now? Just two. Mm. Just ginger and myself. That's it. That's it. And huh? do you keep in touch? Do you no. Know? No, and I would really like to. I mean, yeah. I did a play around the corner from her, but she might have been busy. We haven't kept in touch. Well, you know, that's kind of, at this point, is ridiculous. What at is? this point, since the two of you were joined at the hip. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I correspond with her daughter on Facebook, yeah. uh -huh. which is nice, too. So during that time, because, I mean, everyone in America, like you said, was saying, Ginger or Marianne, did you feel that sort of competition no. or you were just pals? no I was uh, totally in awe of her she was uh -huh. a big movie star on Broadway gorgeous she got the false eyelashes for us That's what from you New said. York fifty dollars a pair they were mink no I was in awe of her she was quite a quite a quite an actress and quite a celebrity already mm -hmm. and how did you handle a celebrity when it came to you I don't. I did don't it know. come to you? Did yeah, you I'm yeah. looking for it. Where is that celebrity? I guess. No, talking. because you still you still look like you, so you, you can't do. get away with it. No, right? but it's wonderful to be loved because yeah. Marianne's loved all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whether it's in Japan or the Solomon Islands, I was in the Solomon Islands where there was no running water, no electricity, mm -hmm. and we canoed up. I have friends that we are adventuresome. We canoed up to this island. All the little huts were up on stilts, and the chief's wife went, "I know you," and I went, "What?" In 1979, she'd gone to nursing school 
in the Solomon Islands and used to come home and watch it in black and white. Really? So even in the middle of the South Pacific, they know this shit. And people love you even when they don't know you. Good thing you didn't play a villain or something. No, I know. I'm greeted with love everywhere. That, that, thank yeah. you. That's a nice thing. Yeah. They don't know how really bad I am. But. Uh, how feisty. That's right. Uh, <laughs> the, first year, the first year was black and white, mm -hmm. and then it went to color. It went to color. And how many years? What? Only three. That's astounding. Never been off the air since then, and we didn't make a dime. Well, that's the other question. No. You, you were there before the residuals mm -hmm. kicked in. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Jim Backus was always very upset about that. And people assume that you're raking in the bucks now. I keep getting there. Huffington Post said, I'm the only one who made a million dollars. I said, where's the check? I have not right. seen it. Wow. No. I mean, you can't go back and fight it. It's what the rules were. But right. it's the longest running show almost on television. You think, you know, the producers made some money, but we didn't. Well, you know what? Uh, the, the baseball player who at that point was making $30,000 a year would now be making $5 million That's a year. Right. So right. you, gotta, you have to look at it that sure. way. And, and, and my career sustained because of it. Had mm -hmm. I not done this show, you might never know who Don Wells was. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, you can't be greedy. And the fans are super fans. They so are. when they see you, what's the number one question that they want, that they ask? Well, they just say, I married a Marianne. Oh. That's what they say. I dated I, a ginger, but I married ah! a Marianne. And they bring their little girl in and say, now this is, Wait a you know. This is a story That's of your so life. Cute. It's a story of your life, right? Is it? Is it? I, I married a Marianne? No. <laughs> Now that's a different generation that's altogether. That's to me. You, you change the genders around a little bit. Okay. okay? Well, I'll take it. Yeah, A little right. bit of both ain't bad, right? Okay. That's exactly right. That's all exactly right. right. Uh, the reason you're here today, and it's great to see you again, because we've been doing this for a long time. A long time. time. We've all had uh, blonde hair then. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Dawn will be, uh, meet fans and sign autographs and pose for pictures at the Hollywood show this weekend at the Westin Hotel on Century Boulevard near the airport. Uh, so it's Saturday and Sunday and from 10 a.m. And you know what? We'll also put it on FoxLA.com. Yes. We'll have the and info. the book is Mention so the cute. Book. Mention, yes. What would Marianne do? What would Marianne do today? You know, when we yeah. were marooned on the island, birth control was not even invented. So if you Let dropped alone, her back in Kansas, what would she Let do? Let alone do? Twitter and Facebook and hoverboards. And elections. Yes. Elections and so on. <laughs> Good Great to see you. Nice to see you. Happy New Year.